It's a new year, which means a new mansion for Jeffree Star. It would seem he's always making headlines, and this new house is just another reason for fans to get excited. I don't think anyone would have expected Jeffrey to move so soon considering his Barbie dream house was iconic and he just recently made his epic pink vault closet. Of course, you guys know I love clothes. I love insane clothes. I just love fashion. I guess some lucky person who can afford to move into the old house will get to use that. Well, this new mansion in the hills is even more jaw-dropping if you can believe it, and we'll show you in just a little bit. Jeffrey is 34 at the time of this recording and has already built a solid empire. He's best known for being a makeup artist, beauty YouTuber, and entrepreneur, especially for being the founder of Jeffree Star Cosmetics. But Jeffrey's dabbled in everything from singing to modeling too. Cheers, baby. Cheers. Jeffrey is one of the most influential YouTubers, maybe even the most influential in the beauty space, and has over 16.8 million subscribers. Over on Instagram, he has 15.4 million followers. 2019 was a crazy year for Jeffrey. Aside from this big move, he's continued to produce makeup and his collab with fellow creator Shane Dawson for the Conspiracy Makeup Palette broke records upon its release. Woo! It makes oh my it's breathtaking when I stare at it. I'm I kind of like, want to cry a little bit. I don't, I'm not even just saying that. <laughs> it just looks so, so great. Beautiful. One million units of products sold out in just 30 minutes. Jeffrey also did more work with Shane this year, like their YouTube docu-series, The Beautiful World of Jeffree Star. It generated 130 million views, and the trailer alone got 10 million views in a week. Forbes also dubbed Jeffrey the fifth highest earning YouTuber in 2019, banking 17 million or more this year from YouTube money alone. This brings his estimated net worth up to 75 mil, so it's no wonder Jeffrey was ready for a bigger, badder mansion. Hey guys, it's Kara, and today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We're going to be taking a look at Jeffree Star's new mega mansion in Hidden Hills that he just purchased with his longtime boyfriend, Nathan Schwant. I'm sure you're all curious because his pink Barbie mansion would definitely be hard to top, but I think they managed. We've covered Jeffree's house tour on this channel a while back for his old place, so I'll also give you a recap of what he's leaving behind. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours on the likes of Lady Gaga and Drake and we'll have links to those at the end of this. Be sure to follow me on Instagram because I love connecting with you guys. I've also been reading all your comments and I'm going to be responding to some at the end of this. I need you to let me know who to do next in the comments down below and whose home you'd like to see. Now let's get into this video. So first off, Jeffrey's infamous pink Barbie mansion he's moving out of has been shown off plenty of times on YouTube. It was located in Calabasas, California, and the new home he purchased is super close by. He got this place for around 3.6 mil, but the value definitely went up over the years since that was way back in 2016. Jeffrey's old mansion was over 7,000 square feet of living space, but the entire property spanned 28,000 square feet. There were 9 beds and 8 baths. One of the most Jeffrey things about this house was how pink he managed to make it. When they renovated the home, Jeffrey made sure most of the rooms were his favorite color, and there's no lack of it, that's for sure. Some other features of the old mansion included a home theater and a games room where him and Nate kept all of their pinball machines. They have a collection of arcade games they're pretty proud of and used to keep more in a warehouse. I'm guessing the new mansion will have more room to house them. You have a pinball machine, you have, oh, okay, there's, I don't know if you can see Dave and Buster's over there. She's <laughs> open for business. Jeffrey's bedroom also had the all pink theme, so I wonder if he has similar plans for him and Nate's new place. In the old house, he called that part of the house the Barbie wing. I'm not surprised. We can open the curtains a little bit, it's just a little bright out. You know Good morning, peasants. <laughs> I love the view of my mountain from here. <laughs> Where's my frosting? <laughs> the main attraction Jeffrey worked hard on creating in this mansion was definitely his pink vault closet. It was such a big deal when he gave the tour on his channel, and I'm sure you guys have seen it all. His pink vault closet doubled as a panic room and had a security guard inside at all times. Jeffrey kept all of his precious wardrobe, jewelry, and more in here, even all of his designer bags, where he also owns multiple Birkins, the most expensive purses out there. Basically, Jeffrey's closet is worth millions, so no wonder he kept it on lockdown. 
Jeffrey posted a vlog recently called Saying Goodbye to Our Pink House Forever, where he showed fans his moving process with Nate, and it was after their official last night in the old house. Of course, in Jeffrey's Saying Goodbye video, he also had to say goodbye to his infamous pink vault closet he built. A lot of work and planning definitely did go into the vault as we all know, but I believe Jeffrey when he says he has plans for another. Now let's look at what we know about Jeffrey's brand new mansion. While Jeffrey and Nate are definitely excited to call a new place home and have a fresh start in 2020 with their four dog babies too of course. First of all, this mega mansion is a definite upgrade and way bigger than Jeffrey and Nate's old spot. It's located in the same area of Calabasas as the previous house, but this time it's in the Hidden Hills neighborhood. Some of the most high-profile celebrities call Hidden Hills home, including almost all of the Kardashian Jenners, and you need some serious cash to buy anything here. According to the listing, Jeffrey spent $14.6 million on this place, but that's still less than his YouTube earnings in this year alone, so I think his bank account will be just fine. Jeffrey's new mansion is about 21,000 square feet, which is more than double the size of the old home, and the property spans 2.82 acres of land. There are not one, but two guest houses, and a 3,700 square foot barn that's accessed by a separate driveway. See that? That is a 5,400 square foot barn, and that is my property. What? Not to mention the garage is almost 5,000 square feet and can hold over 10 cars, which we know will be perfect for Jeffrey and Nate considering their crazy car collection. Out back you'll find a massive pool that looks more like it belongs in a resort than anything else, along with a spa. There's also a fire pit, two barbecue areas, and two covered patios. Inside Jeffrey's mega mansion there are 8 beds and 13 bathrooms, enough for each of the dogs to have their own room, and then some. Looking at photos of the mansion, it's so big that you'd think it's never ending. I would get lost in there for sure. Some features of the new mansion include a huge wine cellar and a home movie theater complete with a full bar. Since Jeffrey doesn't drink, I'm going to guess he'll stock it up for guests and have a bunch of Red Bull for himself. Jeffrey didn't have a gym in his old place, just his beloved Stairmaster, but this mansion is a different story. Just from the photo, the gym in the new home looks as big as a fancy public gym. It's two stories and has all the equipment one could dream of. There's also a massive games room which will no doubt be perfect for Jeffrey and Nate's huge collection of arcade games and pinball machines. The new mansion has so many rooms, I think they ran out of titles on the listing since it says there's a family room, a teen room, whatever that is, two beautiful offices, a bonus room, a craft room, and more. That doesn't include the at-home spa in Jeffrey and Nate's new mega mansion which even has its own waiting room. Considering the house is so big, of course there's also a glass elevator to travel across the three floors. The master suite in the new mega mansion may even be better than Jeffrey's old Barbie wing. And here's the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> it has dual baths, custom closets, a steam shower, fireplace, and beautiful views of the hills, but no pink vault. Considering all the space in Jeffrey's new home, he already has ideas for his next pink vault. Right? I mean, it's time. I mean, you're moving house, yeah. <laughs> like, I better get over it, right? <laughs> High temperature control, how you doing, girl? Jeffrey said, I know people are like, Jeffrey, you only built this seven or eight months ago, what the hell? But you know we're going to build a bigger one. There is a bigger space in my house for something like this, so I can't wait to do it bigger and better. So I guess we'll just have to wait and see what bigger and better looks like in the case of his new closet. So now we've got an idea of Jeffrey's new mansion he's just moved into with his man Nate and from what I've seen it looks like a huge upgrade. Jeffrey thought he'd keep his starter Barbie dream home forever, but I guess things do change and what better time than the start of a new decade. Apparently Jeffrey and Nathan wanted to move because it was time for a change and because they faced some tragedy in their old home, probably referring to the passing away of two of their dogs. Not to mention Jeffrey's new home has way more privacy and space. They definitely won't have to ever worry about intruders. After seeing pictures from the realtor, I'm already in love with Jeffrey's new Hidden Hills mega mansion. It looks like a palace and I'm sure once Jeffrey puts his personality into the place, it will only be even nicer. Before summer, you guys will see a full transformation. Okay. So there's going to be huge grass panels, bigger hedges, and I'm redoing the whole pool baby pink. <laughs> oh my god. What was your favorite part of Jeffrey's new mega mansion? Or what will you miss most about his Barbie dream house? 
I think my favorite part of the new house is either that massive gym or the pool outside. I can't choose, but personally, I like the new mansion. Okay guys, so now it's time for me to read out some of your comments from previous videos. On our Rihanna house tour video, a Christina said, That home in Barbados is absolutely stunning. I've driven past it a few times and it's literally a castle. I love the west coast of BDS. Thanks Christina, from the photos it looks like it. I could only imagine in person. And also on our Riri house tour, Crystal Light had this to say, you need that many homes, do ya? LOL, all to sit empty with what, 85% of the time? Wow. I love Rihanna, but this makes me recognize how wrong we've got it. Thanks for sharing, good vid. Well, I love hearing all of your different opinions, so thanks for sharing, guys, and I'm glad you liked the video. And finally, on our Drake house tour, A. Nicole said, Real estate is the very best investment ever. Drake is very smart. You should do Michael B. Jordan and Cardi B. I agree, Nicole, and we actually just did an updated Cardi B house tour because of her new mansion with Offset, so check it out. Let me know in the comments if Michael B. Jordan's house is something all of you'd like to see. Alright guys, that's all I know about Jeffree Star's new Hidden Hills mega mansion at the moment, but the place looks pretty damn impressive. I know that I can't wait to see the place once Jeffrey and Nate are all moved in and decorated, but looking at the size of that thing, that might take a little while. What do you guys think of Jeffrey's new mansion, yay or nay? Be sure to let me know in the comments and let me know some other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat more and I'll see you next time with some more videos. Bye.